Good morning, everyone. Um, I apologize for not having a video last week. I tried to do another Instagram video and then save that to my phone and transfer over. Something happened, didn't work. So from now on, we're just going to do regular old Sundays. I'm tired of messing with it. <laughs> and then uh, if you would like to still see live feeds, on my Instagram, I'll be doing those on Wednesdays if you follow me on Instagram. So today, we are going to be rehousing the Salmopius Armenia, or the Venezuelan Sun Tiger. And uh, it did molt about, uh, about a week ago, uh, sometime towards the end of last week. And then I am going to go ahead and feed it tomorrow as well with the, the normal video. So yes, you will have a, we will have a normal video tomorrow um, as we usually do. Let me get this light on. It didn't really help. Um, so yeah, and we will also talk about new additions as well. Um, this will be one of two different rehouses today. I will post a second video sometime later on in the day after this one we are going to go ahead and rehouse the uh, Acanthus Guria Genicolata it is hardened up enough to where I feel comfortable to be able to move it to its bigger enclosure it definitely looks like it would like more space um, so we will go ahead and I will show you exactly what I'm going to do um, some of these I will not record just because it takes a little more time but uh and my soldering iron is uh not within camera range so i will have to walk off or pause the video to go do that and i'll bring back the finished product so it is arboreal but they are strange uh so i do have an arboreal enclosure but I'm going to try something out because it still likes to hide in its little hole right next to its piece of cork bark. So instead of this, I'm going to flip it over. On the, this will be the, uh, what am I going to say? We'll go ahead and we'll, I'll do it like this so that we have the vent here. I'm going to put more vents here. And then uh, this corner back here is going to be higher than uh, usual or whichever corner I decide to use. It'll probably be this corner because there's some smudging on there or scratches and I can't get them off. So um, so yeah, this will be higher. Substrate will come underneath the vent right there. So I'll be able to look at it like this as well as uh, when I do the holes, I'm only doing the three sides. So I have a full clear view in the front. So uh, I will go ahead and put those holes in real quick. So the holes are done. There we go. Didn't take a lot of time. Already had it preheated. So yeah, this is my front so I can have that full front clear view. That's just my preference. Um, so let's see, we will go ahead and we will start filling this thing. I'm hoping, I need to make sure that you guys can see everything. I mean, it's just putting dirt in there, I guess. So, so for now, um, but when I got this, I knew that because I had already read and I had already heard that as slings, they tend to burrow and they go up as they grow. So they get their arboreal tendencies, the bigger they get. Um, but at the same time, I've seen other people's, they have four and a half, five inch Armenias and they still burrow where they still stay close to the ground, making them almost, you know, semi-arboreal, -arbore but as a species in general, um, they're just, they're considered all the way arboreal. So, like I've said with this uh, enclosure, it is a test for me. I want to see if it chooses to burrow, because sometimes tarantulas will do what they do if given the option. So I, I spray sometimes a little bit in layers, not sopping wet, just 
enough to get a layer uh, moist. These guys are more humid. That is why I didn't drill or solder a bunch of holes in there too. I only did three on each side and this, uh, that is just because I wanted cross ventilation. Um, I didn't want this just being the only ventilation source on it. I'm sure it would have been okay, but cross ventilation is always the best type of ventilation. So um, that is why we use these types of enclosures instead of usually just having all top vented ones for uh, tarantulas in general just because yeah so I will always prefer cross ventilation over top ventilation um, this I pre-made beforehand it's just a piece of cork bark I hot glued these into a little crook underneath this and then put little dabs of hot glue to hold these pieces on to hide the hot glue <laughs> so um, that will go right about here and that'll kind of be like a little starter burrow thing I guess I can put this lid on and we can just do it like this it's so much easier oh, there we go Okay, so now we will put this in here. So it still has enough height to go up if it wants to. And if it turns out that it tries to make its, um, if it wants to make a tube or a hammock or something at the top, then that's just something I'll have to deal with and, uh, and fix later on. So I always like to give multiple anchor points. So it does look like a big enclosure for what it is, and it, it sort of is, but it allows it room to grow. So uh, I don't have to worry about that. So that is going to be my front view, and then I can just look around the back. Let me make a starter burrow for it just in case it does want to burrow. Okay. So, yeah, I got a fair amount of substrate in there for an arboreal just because, like I've said, several times already they like to burrow I've heard when they are smaller and I've seen everybody's on Facebook and uh, Instagram and everything everybody has big ones and I just I got one small one and I love the colors on it I'm so excited to watch it grow um, it is a little bit more of a medium grower um, compared to an agenic or uh, um, a green bottle blue so going from going from those fast growers to this one I would it wasn't like bad or anything but it was definitely noticeable I'm always looking at it like ah oh, man maybe it's about to molt and then another month goes by and no uh, but it finally molted and uh, and tomorrow we're going to go ahead and give it its feed and we'll see how it does. So let's see. Um, I do like to get a little fancy with my enclosures. Um, I like to look at them. I look at these animals a lot. So um, if they are hiding, I feel it would be nice to have something nice to look at. So. I try to put a little bit of effort into it at least. You guys know how much I care about these things as well. So the more natural I can make it feel for them, the, the better. Let's see if we can find a spot for this last piece that's not on it. Yeah, let's see. 
I will actually put that in the back here as like a right there so it feels more because there's a starter burrow right there so I imagine it's gonna go straight down in there just like it did with the last one unless it decides to make it's webbing somewhere up here in some crazy fashion, which is highly likely too, because tarantulas don't do what you want them to do. But this will kind of give it a little buffer away from, you know, whatever else. Okay, and I think that, I think that looks all right. I think that looks pretty good actually. I will miss down the, the uh, enclosure before I, yeah, before I. Uh, do all that. Um, I believe it was on my. It was either my last video or the video before. I uh, forgot to throw the holes um, for the substrate for the way I hydrate the substrate. So what I do is I take this, and I've been like I said, I've been meaning to tell you. I mean, you get back on, make another video, and mention it. I just take my paintbrush here right down the corner. I learned this from uh, Tom Moran. Um, you, you probably already know who he is. Uh, he's pretty good. I've gotten most of my techniques from him and you'll see most of those techniques today. So I will mention him several times. If you have not seen Tom Moran's videos or listened to his podcasts um, and you enjoy actually learning about these animals and and the easiest but correct way to keep them um, everything from rehouses um, feedings he, he pretty much does it all uh, but he is mainly more of an educational channel so if you're not one of those people that likes to sit down and listen to people talk about things like a professor you know, he, he makes it fun in his own way. I enjoy watching him. Um, but, yeah, definitely give him, a, give him a check out. And he can, uh, he has videos on pretty much everything. Um, there's not much that he hasn't done. Anything that I've needed help with, I've went and I've watched his videos. And he, you know, he just had it there. All right, guys, so we have turned it around, and uh, this little guy's fast, uh, one of those teleporters, so I do have a Sterilite tub here that I will be rehousing it. Um, another thing, like I said, uh, Tom Moran, I throw pieces of tissue in there, unscented, of course, um, in the hopes that if it does not go, the way I want it to and it decides that it wants to try to bolt that instead of running up the side of the enclosure or the the bin I have here it'll hide underneath a piece of tissue which is a lot easier <laughs> to deal with than a, than a tarantula trying to fly all over the place especially since the area I work with uh, my little table that this is on is not very big it's maybe it's maybe three feet across, probably not that, and uh, about two and a half feet wide, maybe. So, I will use every small technique that I can. Alright, so we have this here. I will do my best to get it in the video. I already kind of have an idea, because it is in the hole right now. Uh, it's like I've said before any time I touch this enclosure it's gone um, I can look at it all I want pretty much it'll be right here all the time but as soon as I touch it, it flies right back around the back right into the hole and uh, yeah so we will let me grab my tongs real quick alright so here we go This is the first time for me housing a spider, well, rehousing a spider this fast, or that's supposed to be this fast. So let's see if I can get a little look in there for you before I take it out. 
So yeah, not happy. So I am just going to straight pull out this piece of cork bark. And my goal is to get it to run about right here in hopes that it will just run straight down and back. So let's see if I can make that happen the way I want to. I do not like the dirt. I don't want the dirt to fall on it because I don't want to have to dig her out. Okay, here she comes. Or it. Oh, look at that. Perfect. It doesn't get much better than that, guys. And she went straight. Straight for her hole. <laughs> It's whole. Man, I'm really bad at that. So, yeah. Oop, let me zoom out. I can get another better look. And I will take it off the deal real quick. Give me a second. Let me get that lid on and I will take this phone off the tripod. Alright, so. Old enclosure. Pretty simple, standard, basic. New enclosure, little bit more fancy. I do like building these. I like putting the work into it. Um, I think I've mentioned before, I don't even mind mixing the dirt. <laughs> this stuff is like therapy for me. I do this, I don't think about anything else. And uh, I've noticed a lot of people do use tarantulas. Uh, for therapeutic reasons, you know. It's something that they can look at to take their mind off of things. And uh, when I started noticing that, that's, that that was an actual little thing, then it made me a little happy. Because that's, that's pretty awesome that something, animals like this that are so simple, can have such a big impact on, on people's lives. It help them co I've known people, it helps them cope with deaths and, you know, things like that and I'm always for that I'm always for something that helps you heal and the fact that these guys can do that is just fantastic to me so um, I'm gonna go ahead and get off here and sometime later today I will post the video of the Acanthoscuria geniculata and uh, we will have our feeding as usual tomorrow um, more than likely in the morning uh, I wake up extremely early I wake up and go to work you know six o'clock every day so even on the weekends it, it doesn't change if anybody who works those hours knows that you just wake up Anybody with kids, any, anybody that works like that, you just wake up. That is how it is, as much as we hate it. But that's okay because I have a bunch of tarantulas that I can feed. So my mornings aren't too bad. Um, yeah. Uh, also, we have other new additions. Um, as you guys have read, the name of my channel is Mike P's Teas and Such. So it's not just tarantulas, it's not just scorpions, I like invertebrates in general. Um, I do prefer the uh, carnivorous invertebrates or insectivorous, um, but every now and then we will get some that do not eat other invertebrates or other animals in general. So uh, I will probably, I will either show that to you guys on the next rehouse video that I have today or I will show you guys tomorrow um, on the mass feed it just kind of depends on timing and you know how things have to go but uh thank you all for watching this video and all my other videos that you have watched uh subscribers i love you guys you're awesome um if you're not subscribed and you'd like to be go ahead and hit that button um, like and comment you guys ever have any opinions feel free to throw them down in there i'm all in so uh we will go ahead and see you next time. Thank you.